Hello and welcome to another video from JMP Miniatures. This time it's an unboxing and assembly of the new Battle Servitors from Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, these are relatively new from the Warhammer 40k range. So in this kit you get your three bases, a transfer sheet, some instructions and three sprues. Now each sprue is pretty much the same, so each sprue is a servitor. Um, and then you get the choice of making destroyers or breachers. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to make one destroyer and one breacher. So you can have a look at both different variations of this kit. So starting with the sprues here, um, I'm just going to give you an overview of each sprue. Well, they're all exactly the same. So I'm just going to look at one sprue back and front. Um, and I'll just give you a slow pan over here. So starting with assembly, I'm just click, clipping out some parts here. First I'm going to start with the destroyer and then we'll move on to the breacher after that. So to start off I'm just clipping out the tracks and then I start uh, clipping out the main parts that are going to create the bottom, the base of the model. Um, and then we'll clean these up and get them assembled. Now straight away here one of the difficulties I had with this kit is the tracks. Now they're very detailed, um, but they do have a lot of mould line. You can see a clear mould line all the way around the track there. It's not easy to remove. It takes a lot of scraping and a lot of time. Say you're working on maybe three or six of these. It's quite time consuming to scrape all that mould line away from the track. And then you've got to go ahead and clean up all that excess plastic afterwards. And as you can see here where I've clipped the track away from the model, that track will need some work to get it to look back to normal so I'm trying to use a file here and I'm filing those uh, sprue markings where it's been clipped away from the sprue to try and get them back to a uniform fashion and here you can see I'm cleaning up excess plastic that's been created when I remove the mole lines and um, this was one of the main difficulties of this kit uh, I think there's probably nothing to be done about it just takes a lot of time and effort to get it the way you want it so here you can see I've dry fit everything together to make sure it goes fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and start applying some glue. Uh, I usually use Revels plastic glue. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same as any other plastic glue. Uh, you just get more for your money so that's why I buy it. So here you can see I've dry fit the pieces. I know the fit so I'm just going to go ahead and glue those together and create the base of the destroyer. Each of the servitors has a unique exhaust, so there's three different exhausts in the kit. As you can see this is the first and I will show the other ones later on when I assemble the breacher. So here is the start of the body construction. So now the base is assembled, I'm going to start constructing this body. This section was actually a lot easier, the mould lines were minimal. It was a great section to construct. There's a lot of small parts that add a lot of detail to the model, which I'll show later on. Um, just a, this part of the kit was really enjoyable. Now I'm just going ahead and I'm drilling out the barrel of the gun. Uh, this is option obviously, I just like to do it for an extra little bit of detail, a bit more realism. And I'm going ahead and sticking the body construction onto the base. So 
So this weapon is one of two primary weapons for the destroyer. Uh, the breacher has two weapons, the destroyer has two primary weapons, so you have a choice of what you want to go with. There's also a choice in secondary weapons, and I'm going to show all the weapons in this video so you can have a good idea of what you'd like to use. So for this model, I'm going with this primary weapon, and before I glue it on, I glue on this pipe section, because it would be quite difficult to glue it on when the weapon's attached. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that ahead of time. And you can see now I've attached the primary weapon. I will show the other one later in the video. But now I'm going to go ahead and move straight on to the breacher. So this is the assembly of the breacher. I'm just showing the extra parts that you require for the assembly. I'm not going to go over the same assembly again, because um, we've already seen that now. So I'm just cleaning up the parts here, cutting away the sprue markings, and then I will go and clean up the mould lines on this part as well. And then we can get started assembling the breacher. Now as you can see the main differences with the breacher is it's got a lot more armour so there's extra armour all the way around the bottom, around the tracks and there's a bit of extra armour on the servitor itself so it's got a different choice of weapons this um, is a secondary weapon, a claw weapon I'll show all the weapons for the breacher like I will with the destroyer I'll do a little section at the end of the video where you can see all the different weapon combinations and different options that you could go for with these models. Finally, I add the primary weapon to the model. Uh, there's two different primary weapon choices for the breacher, the same as the destroyer. Uh, I will show you all the different combinations in a second. Okay, so starting with the destroyers. This is a destroyer with a plasma cauldron and cognis flamer. This destroyer has a heavy grav cannon and phosphor blaster. This breacher has a heavy arc rifle and hydraulic claw. And the final breacher here has a torsion cannon in an arc claw. I will be doing a painting tutorial on these in the near future, so I'd just like to say thanks for watching.